Okay, folks, look, I got a smile on my face and I'm feeling real good because I'm cooking my favorite. Look, they pork chops. Actually, my favorite, I like anything to smother, especially the pork chops. But today we're doing the pork chops and the air fryer. And guess what, folks? Today's video is sponsored by Shopify. Okay, folks, so look, I'm going to go ahead and let the camera run right over these, some of these ingredients right here. Obviously, look, I, oh, it ain't obvious. I got to show you guys. Look, these right here, I've already cleaned, rinsed, cleaned uh pat it dry these are my pork chops right i just want to show you this look i got i'm gonna do them thin a lot of you guys buy their family uh value pack you know the thin and then some of you guys are going to buy the you know the thicker ones i'm gonna show you how to do both and what's going to be key is listen you're going to need to have yourself a meat thermometer because we want you know we want to make sure we got the right temperature right now listen everything is really made, uh, made every we all been growing uh grown up and taught to use 165 degrees these are pork chops folks even the FDA like changed it. If you guys want juicy, well, you know, they cook throughout 145, right? So the thicker ones, when I get them to about 140, I'm gonna take them out. You know what I mean? Cause then they are gonna rise up about five degrees and then they are gonna be perfect. This is gonna be the secret. And you guys been following me for a minute, know that I like to get down and do a, a little brining, but I'm gonna show you how to do it real simple. And take a look at this right here. I'm gonna be using my Brevo oven, but it has a feature on here for air fry. So don't let the oven fool you or nothing like that. When we say air fry, I don't care what kind of air fry you get um, or you have, I'm gonna show you just what you need. Now, these ingredients and everything that you see right here is on my website, smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W I T A B.com. Now, I'm gonna take my dry ingredients, but I wanna show you guys this right here. You see that? That is this. This is the branch and vine. Listen, this is, I wanna call it a smoked bacon sea salt. Look, not made and done with no uh, bacon or nothing like that. This is actually a vegan product, but I swear by it. A lot of times I like to substitute this when i want that smoky bacon flavor inside of on you know on the food that i'm using i substitute this instead instead of using kosher salt right so now we'll just add it here get yourself a whisk and we just want to mix it together now my brown sugar been sitting out for a minute you know when you leave it out you know it starts to like dry out or whatever so let me just go ahead and whisk this and get everything you know mixed together and i'll show you what we're going to do next so if you pay attention Look at this right here. This is branch of vine. This is a garlic infused olive oil. If you guys ever want to know what I'm using inside of this right here, I always keep that in there. I alternate between garlic and scallion. This is what I cook with, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a little bit of this and drizzle this on here. Soon as you do it though, for those of you guys who use it, you know, infused olive oil, stuff like that, you can just smell it. The aromatic that comes off of it let you know that you're working with something nice, right? So. These are the thin ones. And now that I think about it, I was gonna put both of the thin and the thick in there together. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Why? Because we need to go ahead and flip. I don't wanna keep opening the door. We just wanna be able to cook, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take these thin ones. I'm gonna start with the thin ones, get those knocked out, and then I'm gonna do the thick ones last. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these thin ones, right? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and just sprinkle, you know, our rub on here. Look at this right here. You want to make sure you get it everywhere. This is what's going to give us that flavor, along with that garlic infused. Mm. All right, then I'll flip it over, and we just do the same. Then I just stage them right here. Grab another one, set it on here. Just got that little bone in there. Look like a regular, you know, thicker pork chop. This is more like traditional looking. Just lay it flat and just coat. Like I said, I'm gonna be using my Breville oven, right? So as you can see, it's got a bunch of different names right here, like bagel, broil, bake, bake, roast, warm. I'm gonna go ahead and select this all the way down to air fry. Now, I'm gonna hit start, cause it always does a preheat. It starts to say preheating right there, 400 degrees and it say 18 minutes. Now I'm gonna tell you this, these thin chops, they probably gonna go for about 12 minutes, maybe 13, right? So after six minutes, I'm gonna flip them over. But right now, I want to get my preheating done, then I'm gonna stick them in. Okay, the preheating went away, right? So we had 400 degrees in the inside, right? It's nice and warm. I told you we're gonna do it for like 12 or 13 minutes. I'm probably gonna put them in there for, I'm gonna say 13. You know what I mean? I know my machine, I got this here. I'm gonna go ahead and just set this in the inside just like this. Close it up. Now I'm gonna set my time. We reduce this down to 13 minutes and we let it work. Again, I just want to go over this part again. Now I'm using an oven that has an air fryer feature. I don't care if you guys have air fryer on your actual double oven or single oven. 
an air fryer is an air fryer, right? So you want to do it just the way I showed you, and you want to try to stay with that time. You know what I mean? But we're going to check it. Don't forget, six minutes in, I'm going to make a flip, and then I'm going to check the temp. Now that we got the chops in the air fryer, right? Look, chances are, if you bought any of my merch or been to my website, then you know today's sponsor, Shopify. What is Shopify? Shopify is a commerce platform that's easy to use and it's ready. Listen, it's made for anybody. It helps you start, grow, and manage your business no matter where you are. Listen, you can sell online, in person, and across all major platforms, right? Like Facebook, Instagram. You guys know all of the major platforms that work with it. Shopify is there to support your business when you're starting like in the beginning. Say you're starting with like one product or you're somebody that has like a multiple uh, product catalog. It doesn't matter. Listen, they're there from the beginning to the end, right? Now check this out. Not all your products have to be sold online, right? Listen, they have a Shopify POS, right? That can be integrated into what you're doing now. So listen, when you're out, you can do tap to pay with the iPhone for all you iPhone, you know, users out there. Listen, they have it all. Now, to make it even easier, Shopify is offering a free trial, right? Listen, there's a QR code on the screen, and if you look right down below that, it's the URL. The URL is shopify.com slash S-N-G-W-I-T-H-A-B. And that's shopify.com slash S-N-G with A-B. Now, when it comes to the thick pork chops, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, right? Only thing is, when I put them in there, when I flip them, I'm gonna check them, and I'm gonna probably say these will probably take the whole 13 minutes, right? They not as thin. So I've already done this one. You can see, coat it front and back. I'll just put it right here, and I'll do the rest. Okay, folks, so after seeing that, look, we got the thin, we got the thick. I done took one of the thick ones over here. You could just see, it's starting to cool. I had to take the pictures of it, get a thumbnail. You know what I mean? Uh, let me do it like this. I'll just cut a little bit of here. Don't forget, we got that bone right there, right? So, you guys can look. You can see it's cooked throughout. And listen, if I just take this right here, look, you can see it's still tender. This one right here went to 149 total. You know what I mean? Uh, this one right here is right, folks. Hey, listen, I know you can hear it in my tone. You know what I mean? I get to talking like Barry White. You know, get to talking like uh, making it all sexy and all of that. But check this out. This is my favorite, folks. If you ever want to know. Hey, that, I'm going to tell you what. Remember that. What's my favorite? My favorite on the planet is smothered pork chop. But any pork chop, any kind of way. Cheers. Mm. Now, I'm faking the funk, folks. I ain't already ate one of these. And shared it with everybody behind the camera. Everybody got a piece. So right now, I got them held back in handcuffs so they don't come and eat up all my, my product. But this right here, fire. Mm. <laughs> now this right here, folks, is fire. Listen, that rub that I gave you guys, go by the website, you know, look this up. And then when you get it, do it and follow it, you know, step by step. I promise you this right here is gonna turn it up for you. Hey, so with that being said, listen, Using an air fryer, everybody got them. Uh, I, probably, I probably think like one in three households got an air fryer. Like everybody house I go over, everybody got one. You know what I mean? Hey, they as cheap as all the way down from $50 all the way up to like, you know, five, 600 bucks. You know what I mean? But if you ask me, they all pretty much work the same. No oils, a little bit, it's way more healthier. Hey, so with that being said, I'm not finna over talk it, right? So listen, if you're new to my channel, I wanna take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share this video and tell everybody out here, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do, folks? I'm about to tear into this and I'm out. Peace.